My name is Ariel, Ariel Rosa. I've been a Cook County Sheriff's Deputy for the last 17 years. You're here because I have a brother who has been incarcerated uh, and in the, the worst forms of incarceration, myself being in that, in that industry, um, we're talking about a person that's never been violent, uh, doesn't have a long rap sheet, never killed anybody, yet he's serving a life sentence in the federal penitentiary system. His name is Ismael Rosa. You know, he had children from a prior marriage, but he had custody of them. Uh, it takes strong character. When Ishmael took custody of his children, men were not being awarded custody. You know, um, he really had to be a stand-up model before the judge to win custody of his children back then. It was just unheard of. My name is Vanessa Rosa. My dad is Ismael Rosa and he's currently in Pekin, Illinois. He is serving a life sentence in a federal correction institute. Um, just, um, it feels like yesterday, really, being in the courthouse, um, seeing him standing before the judge, and there were different, um, counts, um, and to hear the judge go through each and every one of them and his punishment for each one was life in prison. Um, when I heard the first, uh, when I heard the judge say, you know, life in prison, um, It's, 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 it's almost as if immediately I was taken out of the room and pulled out and was seeing all of this from the outside looking in and 
just looking at my dad and thinking or wondering what he's thinking and how he's feeling. It was very hard. Ismael can stay with us till he dies. Ismael can stay with us forever. When I retire and move here and relocate, Ismael is welcome to come with us. Ismael, when I, I am committed to seeing him through to where he will never need anything in terms of food, rent, a vehicle, you know, if he needs gas money, I'm committed to seeing him through until he finds something that he can call his livelihood. Until then, I would have to pay somebody to help me anyway. And I've grown up with girls. So it's been tough, me doing the stuff in the garage all by myself. It'd be nice to have a sidekick. 